Hello, guys. Welcome back. Loki scared me so bad in VR. It wasn't funny. And this wasn't even a spooky game. I was in Oski's temple, and the lighting there is kind of like Northern Lights lighting, or as close as I could get. It's hard to explain. You have to see it. And I'm working in his temple, and we go up to the second floor. And I start to notice stuff wrong on the second floor. Like, there's all this furniture just piled on top of each other. And I'm like, okay. Oculus is being Oculus. And I take all the furniture away, and then I turn back around, and there's more furniture there. I swear to the gods, this is happening. I'm trying to figure out if I designed a room on top of a room. Did the furniture teleport in from downstairs? And I go to look downstairs, and... Maybe? But it would have had to teleport a floor up, and if that had risen, everything else in the house should have risen too. And I'm taking that out, and I said to Odin, I said, I think your temple's haunted. And he goes, oh, my dear. And then in every room I go in, I mean, chairs are moved halfway across the temple and everything else. If physics are going to go wrong in VR, they usually all go the same way up to the side, whatever. And then I start hearing these weird noises in the temple, like a bang or a thump or a scrape, and these aren't sounds they have in this VR temple, just to be clear. And I'm doing all I can not to run out of this temple screaming, because I'm trying to reason to myself and be rational and say this has to be happening for a reason. Look, he was falling behind us, playing jokes on me in VR. I would get rid of the extra furniture, I would turn around, there would be more furniture. And I would go into a room that I had just finished decorating, and the chair would be like halfway across the room. And I'm trying to think, you know, rationally think, oh, VR, sometimes the physics are strange, but they should all be going the same way, right? So I had teleporting furniture, I had furniture that would move the moment I would leave the room and come back. I had items that disappeared, I had a giant ass deer that it looked like it must have teleported into the room because of the way it was wedged into the furniture grouping, I would have never done that. And I'm looking at it, and I said, did I do this? And Odin's like, Woo -woo -woo. Because they all develop amnesia when I go into their temples. And I'm like, okay. Look, you have fun. And I, I've i noticed that happens routinely in Loki's temple. Like, it's not unusual to go in Loki's temple and find something, like, outside. Or, you know, upside down or gone or floating in midair or something. And I used to always blame Oculus, but I noticed it was usually in his temple and his temple alone that this phenomenon would happen. Today he decided, because I listened to spooky stories again, I know, he decided that he was going to have fun with me. And he threw everything around Oski's temple, basically. I don't even want to visit Loki's temple. I don't know what it looks like, but if he's thrown all this stuff around in one of his poltergeist modes, he can do that. But it was... It was scary, guys. I would take the extra furniture out, like this log cabin furniture, because I go in this room, and there's, like, a log cabin chair way far in the corner by these, um, shelving units. And I'm like, I know I didn't put that there. So I take it out, and I turn around, and there's more log cabin furniture in this room, <laughs> scary. It doesn't sound scary. It sounds like it could just be a bug, but somebody had mentioned something. I said, you know, every time Lucky does something, every single time he's going to do something, it's going to be something you could write off. It's going to be something you could say, oh, that's just a coincidence. And it'd be real easy to say, oh, you know, that was just Oculus. That that wasn't anything Loki was doing. But it was Loki creeping up behind me doing all this stuff. I've never seen him do it in another temple before. I don't think Odin really cares for the Oski temple, but he's not going to back out now because it's more real estate. I'm getting... Mm -hmm. So, you know, Odin actually seemed rather relieved because Oski's like the wish giver, the Yule aspect, the kindest aspect of Odin. The more of the Yule stuff that has disappeared out of that temple, the happier Odin's mood has been. So it might turn into part Odin if Odin doesn't care. 
in part Loki Temple because Loki likes to put the little fox paw out too and get territory. He pretends he doesn't care and he already has his own temple and he has a thing in God home and you know he's always getting more territory but a little fox paw is reaching out and playing with stuff so I've ever given him something to play with. So if you guys like what you see, like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you later. Bye-bye.